All right, so here I am in Inkscape. I've got a, just a file open, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between a raster drawing and a vector drawing. In the computer, when a computer displays any kind of graphics, any kind of pictures or icons or anything, it's going to be one of two files. It's going to be a raster, so you may see like a .jpg or a .gif or something like that, or it'll be a vector file. The big difference between the two is a raster is made up of small pixels. So this is thousands and thousands of small little squares that make up your entire image. So if I zoom in on this image right here, if I zoom in, you can see all the different pixels that make up this drawing. So when it goes to the computer goes to print or to draw this, what it does is it says white, 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 gray, black, 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 etc. And it goes all the way through here. And every one of these is assigned a number. So even this part down here that's white, this is just a whole bunch of white pixels. It's just the same as up here. It's like that. What a vector does, however, is the computer takes this image and it actually mathematically breaks down what all of these curves are. It knows that that's a circle. It knows how thick the line is. So it gives me something like that. If I just look from here, they look pretty similar. You don't really notice much of a difference. But the thing is, I can zoom in on a vector, and I'm not going to see the pixels. I can zoom in as far as possible, and it will always be that crisp line because it's using the mathematical formula to break it all down. So when we go to laser engrave, it's, the laser is going to know it has to follow this path because this path has already been set out for it. The nice thing about a vector versus a raster is a raster, if I get it bigger, at some point you're going to start seeing those pixels. So if I wanted that on it, you're going to see that fuzzy edge. Whereas this one, if I make it bigger and bigger, it's not going to do that. You're still going to see that crisp line. So the way to make a vector file is, let's just start with a new file. So let's find a picture of a car. It's going to work best if you have like a black and white image or a line drawing. So for example, for the laser, for this picture right here, there's way too many colors. It's going to be hard for the computer to kind of differentiate what's what. A uh, simpler picture like this might work well. In Google Images, there's a couple different tools. You can go to Tools, I can go to Color, and I can change it to black and white. This will give me just black and white drawings, which are easier to use. Or the best thing to do is you go to Tools, to Type, to Line Drawing. And these are all going to be very easy to use. So just real quick, let's just click that. Let's right click and copy that image. And let's paste that image in here. So you can see already, you can see the pixels. So the way to change that to a vector in Inkscape is I click on it, first you have to highlight it, go up to Path, to Trace Bitmap, and you may have to play with some of these settings here a little bit, but let's just hit OK, see what it looks like. So that's what our picture is going to look like, so hit OK. Now when I zoom in all the way, you can see it's got some of those lines, but not all of them. If I click on the old file and hit Delete, so that's what my vector would look like. You see it's missing a lot of parts. So let's undo, undo. Let's try that again with a different setting. So path, trace, bitmap, um, brightness, let's bring that down to 0.15, hit OK. Exit that. Click on the old one, delete. All right, so that's even worse. Undo, undo. Let's try the other way, trace, bitmap. Let's go up, let's say 0.8. Now hit OK. All right, that's looking a lot better already. So we can delete the old one, 
So that looks pretty good right there. That would be very good to use on the laser engraver. For something maybe a little bit more of a difficult picture, let's just try real quick. Let's just try this one just to see. Let's try this one just to show you what will happen. Let's copy that image. Paste it on there. Shrink it so it'll fit on our page. So if we just went trace bitmap, our vector is just going to be a lot of filled in spaces like that. So let's undo that. Let's try color quantization, say, see if this can differentiate some of the colors a little bit better. Highlight it. Hit OK. So that's what that vector will look like. A little bit better. Let's maybe add a couple more colors. So there's what that one will look like. Because remember, the laser engraver can only do one color because it's just burning the wood. You can't burn the wood with different colors on there. So that's a little bit about rasters versus vectors. Remember, you want to get a vector file for the laser engraver for the best results.